Welcome to the video. So today what we're going to be focusing on is toning hair. Now, I know that might sound a little bit boring, but guess what? We're going to add some life to your toning in the salon. I want to show you guys how to use multiple different tones to get the best result, to add depth and movement to your color. Most of us will just, or we're taught to just go back to the shampoo bowl, throw a toner on wet and let that process for about five minutes, then bring our client back out and they're all done. Well, I'm going to tell you guys right now that you're going to get a better result doing it the way that I'm talking about now. And you're also going to get a multi-dimensional result, which is going to add to not only your haircut, but the end result, uh, adding some depth and movement. So we're going to be focusing using the Paul Mitchell, the Demi, uh, the new 10 series. So they have all different uh, tones. Today, what I'm going to be using is the level 10 PA, which is a pearl ash. Also mixing that with Paul Mitchell uh, processing liquid. And then the 7N uh, from the Demi Paul Mitchell uh, with processing liquid as well. So I start off, the first section is with the 7N. Also know guys that when you're using a level 10 color, timing equals intensity. So the longer you leave this on, the more intense it's gonna be. We're gonna fully process this for 20 minutes um, on dry hair so we're getting the maximum result. So notice I'm taking these big vertical straps. So what I'm doing is uh, I'm really adding a lot of definition. Also, um, let's say that this guest likes to add a little bit of curl or wave to her hair. I like doing vertical straps because it gives a more intense result um, because I'm using a level seven and then also toning with a level 10. So I want to see that kind of movement of the two colors going together. So I go seven in on the first section, 10 PA on the um, second section, and then the entire back from that corner all the way around to the other corner, um, I'm gonna use the 7N as well because I wanna bring depth in that underneath. So think about natural hair and how color works. Most of the time the sun is what brings brightness to the hair, so everything underneath the top section, I wanna make sure that it has a little bit of depth to it. So all of this is gonna be that 7N. Again guys, this is like an additional technique. So after I blonde my guest, or if my guest is just coming in, she's extra blonde, wants to go down a little bit for the fall, she doesn't wanna be as blonde, um, this is a great technique for that. So just being able to go in, add that depth, add the movement to the color. So now I go in, this is the 10 PA, right behind the ear, and then I go 7N on the uh, front, right around the face. Now in the summer, when somebody's more tan, I like to add a pop of lightness around the face. In the uh, fall winter time, when the tan starts to go away, I wanna add a little bit of depth so that they don't look washed out. So I go in with that seven in, a little bit of warmth in there, um, nice tone to it, and it brings that depth right back into around their face. So now on the very top, I'm gonna take uh, diagonal slices and I'm just gonna work my way alternating the colors. So I'm going 10 PA and then I go 7N and then I go 10 PA and then I go 7N and I just work my way across the top. And you're gonna make that decision at the end uh, what tone you want. I'm gonna go with the lighter tone, the 10 PA, because I do still want that brightness and it'll sit over top of that 7N that falls on the sides. So you can see I'm just working that color through. Now let's talk about the difference between uh, wet and dry toning. So if I put this on wet hair, I could still do it, still do a technique. And that's the thing, like just because your hair is wet doesn't mean you can't section it off and do a technique with it. Um, but you're going to get a less intense result because the, the dilution from the water is going to give you a less intense result. It's going to dilute the product um, and you're not going to have that intensity. Now, um, that doesn't mean it's wrong or bad because sometimes when somebody has really porous hair, you don't want to throw um, a level seven on dry hair because it'll go super dark, right? It'll soak it up. So you want to make sure that think about um, the porosity of the hair. If you need to spray any kind of like water on some certain parts or on the ends, you might want to do that, but then you're going to get the best result in the end. So there's our technique. You can see a lot of movement with that color. You see the depth in the seven N processed it for 20 minutes. Uh, and then here is our straight result. So you can see how those shadows kind of come through. And then I'm gonna show you when we kind of do the wave, you could see how it just kind of comes to life. So I really love this result. Hope you guys like it. Let me know on social media, everything at Free Salon Education, what you think. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.